Hello, everybody. Pink and purple monkey people. Hello, hello, hello. I hope everybody's doing good today. So it's Friday. Can you believe it? It's like Friday again. Oh my God. Uh, I just can't even get over how fast and slow this year is going all at the same time. So, we're giving it a minute. We're going to let a couple people get here and see what's going on with everybody. So, if you're here and you're watching, just drop a note down below. Uh, if you see the little red thing up here in the corner, it means that I'm actually live and I'll be able to ask, answer questions for you. If you do not uh, get a chance to watch this live and you're doing a rewatch and you have questions, uh, make sure you either uh, post them below uh, in the comments or you can message me, which is fine. Just may take me a while to get back uh, to everybody. So today, um, I am like such a Christmas freak. I, I just love the holidays. And so I have started doing my Christmassy stuff. So uh, Chris, Yule, Christmas, um, New Year's, all that cool stuff. It's just such a great time and there's beautiful colors and it's just wonderful. So this, this is what we're doing. And so I have a whole bunch of different tutorials coming up. Uh, today we're going to do holiday tray. I, I'm going to be doing a nutcracker. Uh, a couple of nutcrackers, uh, Santa's elf mugs, uh, all kinds of cool Christmassy, awesome holiday stuff, and uh, some winter theme things as as well. So I'm like really excited about it. I'm here every Friday at three o'clock Eastern, and so we are here. Um, I have already pre mixed my resin because it, I like to let it sit a little bit. And hopefully I have made enough, but I'm not sure. Um, what I'm doing is, is I'm actually going to be um, using a whole bunch of different pink and purple monkey glitters. So we are going to be using, there's a lot. So I have a, a fine and a chunky in each color. So for silvers, we're going, and if you want to do this on your own, I'm going to have a list available of what we're using. So for our fine glitter, we're using 108 silver. And for the chunky, I love this. This is my favorite silver glitter. And I don't even, I don't know if Amy has it anymore. I hope she can make more, or do more, because this is just like my favorite. It's the Geo Silver number 48. So we're going to be using those in the tray. And then we're going to be using, um, 135 Green Mountain, which is our chunky green, and uh, 319 Holly, which is our uh, fine green. So we're going to have those. For our reds, we are going to be doing 132 Santa Fe, which is this absolutely gorgeous bright red. And we're going to be using 185 Rudolph. So it's all pink and purple monkey glitter uh amy has it all on, on the website uh, other than the um silver geode which i'm not positive and uh but i'm sure knowing amy she can make it happen and then for our gold because gold tends to take over everything uh, i'm going to be using um 278 gold nugget which is a fine so we're not going to use a whole lot of this and then i have micah's <clears throat> I don't have um, any of Amy's micas, so I'm going to be using alternate micas, uh, but I know she has mica on the website. Uh, so I'm going to be using a red, a green, and a silver uh, glitter pearl uh, mica as well, and a gold. So it sounds like a lot of stuff, but when you actually start to do the trays and you're drizzling things in, um, I love this drizzle look. Uh, I posted some pictures in a prior post about it and I just, I love how it comes out and don't get discouraged with it because as you're drizzling it on, um, 
what ends up happening is, is the, the part that you can actually see looks kind of weird. It almost looks, uh, it can look kind of muddy. It can look kind of, uh, you know, dull, uh, not really bright and, and colorful and everything. And that's okay. Cause when you demold your, your piece, uh, the underneath part is really where it's all at. And all the glitter has kind of sunk down towards the bottom and you're just going to get these vibrant gorgeous pops i have two different tray um molds so that we have um she offers two different styles um of mold on her site one is this really cool i guess i don't know it's kind of like a dessert mold um i used this earlier so uh like i said the pictures that i just posted up in my other post i used this mold it's three layers and um this this came out really really cool you can do a lot of stuff with this one and then this other one is round and there's two tiers of it it's kind of like more like a plate where you're going to have a, a you know a swoop in it i have never used this mold before and i am going to try it today so uh we are going to learn together to see how well this goes because i have no idea because i have never used it before um, the square mold is three layers. So you're going to get, I'm going to put this here, this great big one, which is, uh, I, I don't know, I guess it's about 10 inches or so. I'm trying to find my, my tape measure, which has gone missing. Uh, this is about 10 inches, this layer. Your next layer is, um, a little bit smaller. It's about eight inches. And then you have their top layer which is this little guy right here. And this is six inches. This takes a massive amount of epoxy. Massive. Uh, the one that I made yesterday, um, I missed a mixed, gosh, I mixed 190, 180, and another, I think 180. So, and I use it all. I use every single bit of it and I actually didn't have enough to even fill the mold. Oh, Renee, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, so one of the things that people tend to do when they're doing trays and stuff like that, you put way too much color in it. Um, so as I was saying, I'm using a whole bunch of different stuff here. I've got a uh, chunky and a fine in three different colors. Plus I have my gold. Um, I'm only going to use a little tiny bit of the color when I do it. So when you, what happens is, is your epoxy spreads out when you're, you, you're drizzling it in or you're pouring it in in different spots and it's going to spread out. And what ends up happening is, is when you keep adding layers and layers and layers of color, it just sort of mishes it all together. Um, so I find less is better when you do it and let it actually spread out and do its thing. Um, it really has worked out well for me. I've been working with epoxy for eight years in January and, um, I'm just so glad to be able to share with you guys. So if you have questions, if you need help, let me know. And I'm, I'm glad to help you, but I need to know your process. What are you doing and what are you using? And we can work on a, a, a plan to help you get things better. This mold I've never used before. So I'm going to see. I am kind of curious how uh, it's going to work because it, as a plate, it, it's got kind of a curve in it. And the epoxy is naturally, when we pour in, is naturally going to want to kind of pour down the sides. So that might be a little finagling. So we're going to learn together. So um, what I'm going to start doing is, is, like I said, I mixed a big batch of epoxy. I'm going to need a lot more. Um, but I don't like mixing more than uh, about 200 uh, or 220 um, mil at a time because it's already getting warm um and and that can mean that it's going to accelerate super fast particularly the second that i start putting glitter in here or i put i put anything else in here like the micas so i'm just going to pour off some and we're gonna not use a lot of this uh if i need to mix more i can 
Um, but I, I really don't want to have too much of, of anything. I'm kind of running out. I got a, I thought I had more of these cool little cups and, um, I seem to be running short on them. So I'm going to have to get, order some more. I'm super excited to be here though. And I'm super excited about the next couple of weeks because I've got some awesome awesome stuff coming up uh like i said the nutcracker ones um i'm doing i'm gonna do a santa's elf mug i'm gonna do uh, just all kinds of cool christmasy awesomeness i'm so excited and it's all gonna be done with our ppm um stuff so it's really cool uh amy's in the process of putting together a craft along nutcracker box Yeah, I, I I get um I get them in like huge bulk. I buy like five hundred uh between like five thousand of these. I like these little medicine cups. I know people say, oh well, you should try you should try and um you know reuse stuff and whatever. It's like oh heck with that. No, um sometimes you can reuse them. Uh, if you're doing epoxy in them and you can actually. Uh, let them, whatever's left in there, harden up. And then when it's, when it's done, you kind of crack it out. And sometimes you can get to use them three, four times, um, if they don't get too messy. So what's going to ha what's happening here is, is as I'm mixing this, I'm noticing that my epoxy is already starting to, um, like kind of set up here. So I'm going to have to work kind of quick. <sighs> I was afraid this was going to happen because, of course, you know, normally I would mix smaller batches, but the epoxy that I like to use, um, it, it it's best if I let it sit for a few minutes uh, before I start using it just because it lets all those bubbles rise up and then I don't have to deal with the bubbly garbage because I don't like bubbles in my stuff. I really don't like bubbles in my stuff. Um, I'm going to do some chunky green. Now, again, you see, I'm not using a whole lot here. I probably have, um, trying to see how many milliliters I've got going on here. Maybe four, two, about two. What the heck is this? It's not much. It's really not much. Um, but I want, I don't want a lot of color in there because I want a lot of color, but I don't want to have it get too runny and I don't want it to run down the sides and get all yicky. So this is our Green Mountain. I'm going to mix a little bit of my fine in there with it because I like, I like that contrast. And I love this color, this holly color. It's really pretty, and it goes along perfectly with the Green Mountain um, for the chunky. So it's really cool. I don't know if she's got a mix out yet, but that'd be fun if we had like a mix. I do recycle my popsicle sticks a couple of times. Ugh, I need more. And my resin's going to set up. All right. Oh, the things that we go through. See, I'm not perfect either. I may, I have issues and problems just like everybody else. So this is our greens. Oof. Um, now we're going to do our, our gold. Now the gold, like I said, that takes over. It goes like insane. Um, I don't know why the gold takes over as much as it does, but it does. And... Um, the last trays that I did, I didn't use hardly any more than this in three layers. And it just seemed like, boom, my whole, my gold just completely took over the whole thing. Which is fine because it's a holiday tray. And I don't mind that. But I really kind of wanted something that was a little more subtle. And I wanted more reds in there. And um, so I'm actually going to do two different styles on this particular thing i'm gonna do one 
in the reds, I think, and I'm going to do one in the greens because I sort of want to see what they're going to do. And I have like all kinds of gifts to make. So super excited. I love the holidays. I love creating. I always figure that homemade gifts, you know, handmade stuff is so much better than, than bought stuff. Unless somebody's buying me glitter, then, then I'm good. I would normally agree with you, Renee, but the type of epoxy that I use doesn't like heat. It's actually for me. It's an artist resin. Uh, it's a, it's an artist epoxy that was developed um, to be used with very little heat, and I absolutely adore it. I absolutely adore it, but um, I have to be super careful with what when I'm heating stuff up. Or it, it'll, you know, do funky things and that I'm not, I don't, I don't want that happening. I know it's kind of like, uh, it's almost like a no-win situation. Um, I've used everything. I think I've used almost every single kind of resin out there with the exception of two that I'm aware of. Um, I found this particular, this epoxy. I love it. Makes me super happy. Uh, I don't have any problems with it at all. And, um, I really, I haven't had a bad, haven't had a bad um, experience with it at all. I need another little cup and I don't have any. Oh, what am I going to do? Uh, let's see what I got. I'm trying to find, recycle a cup here. Because I have a whole bunch of different projects. Going you know what? All right gonna do it this way because I need some more gold but I'm doing no red I'm doing the super fine red so because it's holiday I, I really want to stick with themes of uh, red green gold silver and I'm all about uh, that's one of the few I have not used yet Renee and I'm super curious about it um, I love my tumble epoxy. I absolutely love it. I, I don't I don't think I'll ever switch to something else. But I know that um, CCDIY has some other product as well. Like they've got, a, I, I believe they have a fast set resin, um, you know, and then they've got some other cool things. Are they the one that has that one that you put on top of the mugs, you know, that makes like the thick... It gets really thick. I'm not sure. All right, what am I missing? I'm missing my Silvas. So lots of cups. I, um, like I said, I get a lot of flack from people where they're like, oh, you should be recycling your cups and you should be using less, you know, more of this and less of that and whatever. And it's kind of like, you know what? I don't want to make a mess. I don't, I, I don't care about throwing away a cup. And I'll quite frequently, I can actually reuse my cup if I really want to. I've used Alumalite. I don't like it. I've used Promarine. I hated it. It turned everything yellow within a really short period of time for me. Um, I've never made cups with it. I do a lot with uh, cast pieces, tabletop, uh, things like that. So I, I really... I hated it. I absolutely hated it. It just didn't didn't work for me well at all. And I did use it for a long time because, well, it's, it's all I had to work with. So it's kind of kind of a bummer. Chaos resin, I did not care for. Um, just personal choice. I mean, I'm saying, you know. I think people need to find what works for them. And if it works for you, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You know, go with whatever you want to work with. It, it really, it makes your life easier. If you're happy and you're comfortable with the product, then then use it by all means. Um, personally, you know, I have my favorites and everybody does. You know, and, and it also depends on the application, too, I think, uh, whether you're making cups or you're doing 
uh, trays or you're doing something else. It, it totally depends. Some, some are not meant for thick molds. Um, I actually had a lot of times when I was using some of the other ones, I'd be doing like a deep cast, uh, like a pyramid mold or one of my skulls, or I have a great big, huge, it's like, um, like three pound skull that I do. And what a nightmare. I mean, I was having to pour off these little teeny tiny bits because the thing would just overheat and accelerate and be really nasty. And I didn't like that. I, I just, I was very glad when I found tumbler poxies, super, you know, everybody knows I'm a, I'm a huge advocate for them. But I have heard some really good things about the CC DIY. And I would be very interested in trying some of it. Um, because I, I'm all about learning. Okay. So I'm going to start with, uh, actually, I'm going to try and get both of these up here. And I, I know this is going to be kind of weird. I'm going to try and get both of these up here. Um, get rid of the hat. You know, one of the things, it's funny when you have pets, it seems like that hair gets, it, do, it doesn't matter. The hair just gets every place. I have no idea. I just put the silicone mat up here. It was brand new. Just took it out of the package. And there's one of my little black cat hairs sitting on it. Alrighty. So, we are ready to roll. Nice and thick. That's what I was thinking of. That's the stuff that you put on top of the mugs. And um, I've heard nothing but good stuff about it. Um, and it's faster than waiting for the epoxy to thicken. Okay, so I have everything I need. So the way that I like to do it, because like I said, it's my first time doing these. I have no idea what's going to happen because as you can see, this has like a ridge. So when it's laying flat, it's going to fold down. So I know that whatever I'm putting in here is going to have a tendency to want to lean down. I don't want to skip it because I do want some color to go down inside of there. So I'm almost going to try and maybe pull some of these back just to see. Well, let me get some gloves on. I don't have a mask on right now because if I did, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Um, I do have one, though, just so you all know, I, I do have a mask that I wear. Um, you know, so safe, safety first. But uh, for lives, doesn't work so good. I am going to have to mix my... Mica, but my mic is going to go on my second, my next level. So sometimes when I do these, I'll actually, um, I'll mix up some, like I'll mix up my glitters first and then I'll put those in and then I will mix up, um, you know, let them sit and then I will add something out, you know, like I'll add more to it. I want to see if this is going to kind of drip down here and it is going to move so that's cool I want to see I love this scattered look where you're just drizzling your stuff in I just I don't know there's just something really cool about it it's it's erratic and um I really like it but I want to see if I can let me try and pour some of this in here like I said this is a learning process Oh yeah, there we go. That's a lot easier. I don't want to get too much of this gold going on in here though. Um, because this gold is like really going to take over everything. It's starting to thicken up too. So everybody notice when you use certain glitters, colors, Things like that, that. Like certain ones will like thicken up super fast. I don't know whether it's the colorant that's in them. Um, I'm not really sure. I'd heard about the cornstarch thing. I, I haven't actually had the opportunity to try it out. Um, but I'm super curious about it. Because like, wow, that sounds really cool. Um, okay. So what I'm noticing on one side is this, when I poured it in, 
Uh, I'm going to try and show you. It all sort of, you can sort of kind of see through these too. It like, it ran right down the side and it really glopped up on me. So I'm going to try and scrape some of this off to the side. I think it's going to be okay though, because I'm going to put more in. There's no way to heat the, uh, the lower part. So I think we're going to get, I'm going to get stuck with whatever I get stuck with uh, that falls down the side. Okay. Then I'm going to do my red. It's got super thick. Super thick. That's what's happening is, is I'm getting, uh, let me try. Put a little clear in here just to. Give it something to float on. All right. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the way. Okay, so that's really good to know. Uh, if you put it down like just a little bit, a little bit of um, your epoxy. And then you put your glitters on down on top of it because it just like totally took the whole thing and it's like moving it, um, moving it down in here. I have to um, figure out how to set my camera up so that I can do like an overhead view. I think that'd be really awesome so people can see more. I want to do that when we're doing the Nutcracker. I'm, I'm so psyched to do that. It's like I wanted to do it this week, but we were not ready. Because um, Amy, is, like I said, she's going to put together a kit that people can get. It's going to have everything that you need in it. Uh, and then we're going to be able to do it together. So super fun. I'm all about nutcrackers. Does anybody collect them? I do. I love nutcrackers. I have collected nutcrackers since I was a little girl. And I just, I love them so much. And I don't know why. I, I really don't know. Because, you know, when you come right down to it, they're kind of creepy and weird. But I just love them. I <laughs> I want, like, all the nutcrackers. I completely agree with you, Renee. I completely agree with you. The best, the best things come from boo-boos. They truly do. Like, I, I can't even tell you um, how many times. Actually, I did uh, a video last week on what I call uh, my tap-tap method. And it was completely a mistake. Like, I, I had just, I had prepped a tumbler and I was doing something and I just grabbed the tumbler to move it. And the darn thing, I, I had paint on my hand and I didn't even know. Like, I, I didn't even realize that I had. And now I've got paint all over my, you know, like on my tumbler. So I'm taking it and I'm, I'm like slapping the tumbler. And uh, darn, it, it started looking really cool. So I was like, hey. Um, let me try doing some more with, with more acrylics and, and seeing what happens with it. And they can, they come out amazing. Like they're so cool. So I did, I did, um, a tutorial here on them and, uh, I've had a couple of people message me and show me like the awesomeness that they did with them and they look fantastic. Like I, I'm so glad. Like you said, it's it's little mistakes that people make um, sometimes turn out to be the best. Okay. Let's see. What's going on here? Oh, this is this is cool. I love the silver geo though. I hope Amy has more of it and she gets more of it because it's so amazing. So we're still going. Um I am finding that the clear it's really helping it to move down into um, the different places. I'm going to need to mix more resin here in a second. Okay. 
I think that's probably my least favorite part of working with resin is having to mix it. I don't know. I, it's, I don't know how you all feel about it, but I know for me, it's kind of like just not a good time. Um, I think it's from the arthritis or whatever. <laughs> Yep. Always. Always. I sort of, I, I kind of stopped trying to put them down on paper or, you know, determine what it was. I kind of say, okay, well, I'm going to do these colors. I'm going to get this, you know, sort of in this sort of mode. And then I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it and let Nat you know, nature take its course and let it do whatever it's going to do all on its own. Cause sometimes that's the best way. Like you said, you never know what you're going to get. This looks really pretty. I'm liking these colors a lot. I would actually be happy with just these colors, the gold, the red, and the silver, and then the white mica. Um, I think it looks super pretty. It is kind of hard to get it to, I think my epoxy was just a little too set up and, um, it's just, it's hard cause, um, there's such a short window on it. And if I mix smaller amount, then I would have a bigger working window, which, uh, is definitely one of those things where I was trying to be prepared. I was trying to get ahead so people didn't have to wait for me to sit here and mix um, anything. This is starting to get like super thick. All right. I got it enough out though, I think. Thank goodness for silicone mats. Like, yay. This is like one of my favoriteest things, the silicone mats, because they save you so much cleanup. You can just let it dry, wipe it down. It's all good. All right. I must go through a bazillion baby wipes when I'm doing a project. I need more in here. I hope I have more in here. Yeah. Everybody's so quiet. How's everybody doing out there? What are y'all working on? Has anybody started their Christmas stuff other than me? I don't know. I'm, I'm always one of those people that I like to be ahead of the curve and try to get stuff done before everybody else does. This little tray does not take a lot of color. Like seriously, it, it like almost overtakes at least from the back side. I have no idea what the front side is going to actually look like um, until it's demolded. So it's super um, curious. I'm gonna drop some of this in big glops here and then I'm gonna try and hit it with my embossing gun and see if I can loosen it up so it moves more. Any, have you have you all made any of those crazy little ornament things? I've been like trying to stay away from them because everybody else on the planet is making them. Uh, the glitter glitter ornaments. I think they're cute as heck though. I really love them. It's like I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna put up a tree though. It's just me and my husband right now, and we don't really see. He does. He he doesn't really. Not a big Christmas fan like me. So I might just spend the whole day crafting. That might be fun. I can come on here and talk to people. 
Okay, so now I've got my, what the heck is in here? Oh, I got the fine reds. So I'm going to put some of that in here. Trying to make sure this goes down in the sides. And I am curious if anybody else has done one of these trays. Because I have not done this one. I've done the other one a couple times. And I really liked how it came out. Um, but I have not used this one. And I'm super curious about how it works. Where it's going down the side. And it's into that curve. I can see it. I also wonder about how the air situation is with it. Um, where is my heat gun at? All right, give me a second. I gotta find my my gun. And plug it in. Of course, I have like. 5,000 things plugged in over here and I got to unplug something in order to be able to get it. All right. So let me see what's going to happen. I don't know. I have a heat gun and I'm like a little reluctant to try using it with the tumbler epoxy because I know tumble epoxy doesn't like the heat. But I am curious about bubbles down in here. I don't really see any. But I do want to make sure that all this before I put the next layer on and these I do think that you have to do in a couple of layers that you can't just put it all down at once. But I'm noticing that like this one doesn't have anything on this side here. How does the, uh, Renee, how does the CCDIY uh, work for like deep? deeper pores. Have you done anything like this? And I would consider this to be, well, it's got an edge on it that's about two inches uh, in the in the curve. Um, it's not thick. It's just that the way that it, it swoops down. Have you found that there's any problems with that product um, doing that kind of thing? If you're still here. Because I know this is kind of like, can get kind of boring for people to sit and watch. I watched the cutest video of um, one of the gals. She was making these absolutely adorable little, uh, I guess, keychain thingies with beads. And uh, oh my gosh, so, so, so cute. Uh, Kristen Work. Um, she did it here in the main group. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, check it out. It, it is like the coolest way to use up some of the cool stuff that you have hanging around, you know, makes great little stocking stuffers and things. And I just, I just loved it. I, I thought that it was brilliant that she came up with that. Yuck. Yeah, this has got really thick, but it's okay. Cause I'm almost done with the colors. Um, I don't want to waste my sticks. Though. Okay, so what am I seeing happening here? I wish these were a little clearer so you could really see what was going on inside of them. Because uh, it looks like I got a big empty spot over here. Yuck. I'm going to have to give it a shot. I've tried them all. I might as well try that one. I, I'm really curious about um, some of the processes that you can do with fast set. And um, I want to try UV resin. I know Amy has some on, on, her, on the page. So I want to try 
that and see what happens with it. Okay, so now I have some really super thick, super thick gold mica. I, I probably should have put this down first because um, I want it to, I really wanted it to show. So I don't know if it's gonna, but it's like really like, ooh, that's super thick. Like I said, we're learning together. I love it. I love it. I love it. I also have a um, special that I'm com that I'm going to be doing, um, and I want to I want to do like a a peekaboo with. I love the Christmas Carol. It's one of my favorite holiday movies, and uh, as a child, it's my dad every year would read the Christmas Carol uh, to my brother and I and I I want to do a Christmas Carol cup so I'm hoping that I can find some really awesome images for it I want to do like a silhouette type thing or or maybe even like I said do peekaboo uh, with the images I think it'd be really really cool just figure out how to do it and get Jacob Marley in there and uh, all the other really cool characters like Tiny Tim and stuff. So this is really, it, this is a fun project that I'm, that I'm actually doing. Uh, I'm really enjoying putting the glitter on. I'm really enjoying watching it go down. I am a little frustrated because some of this, it's really hard to see what is going on as the curve comes down. Um, Dina, I am making a tray, a two tier tray molds. This is the round one. Um, so it's two tiers so that you have a, a small base and then you have a big, the big plate here. Actually, this is probably good that I'm lifting this up because it's going to let my stuff go down this takes a massive amount of epoxy to make uh not as much as the square molds um so in my pre my just previous posts to this i have um a couple of uh, i have some pictures of the square tray mold and um it takes a, a, like a huge amount it's like 350 milliliters more than that so 180, 180, and 100, and I think 160, so almost 500 mil um, to make all three layers. But it's it's really, it looks really cool. Okay, so I have enough in here that it's it, it's gone down the sides. Um, have a couple of spots where it didn't go down, so I'm actually going to need to mix some more epoxy i plan on putting in more anyhow um I just have it all over my hands so i'm doing um gonna do another uh, i'll probably say i need another 130 uh, it's hard to tell I'm not one of those people. I don't do the whole water thing in the mold and, you know, figure it out. I'm just kind of like, I'm a hands-on kind of gal. And I, I like to just figure it out as I go. So. And I also love color. So that's why I, I went and I put all these different colors in here. Because this to me is, is amazing. And if I can figure out how to put lights in these these guys, I am so doing that. I am so going to do that. Because I think that will look so cool. All right. So I am mixing another 180 milliliters of... epoxy for this
Did I? Did I put the wrong one in here? I think I did. I think I did. I did. Look at that. Ha. Had the lid off. Put the lid right back on again. My back has been a demon lately. And I have not been feeling really well. So I've been making a lot more mistakes than I normally do. Okay. Fabulous. Now, because I have pets, I always make sure I put my lids on. Um, who's here with me? I see I see nine people are watching and I only see comments from two people. So come out, come out wherever you are, people. Uh tell me who I'm I, I you know I'm performing for. <laughs> I can't even tell from my the little pictures up there. Snooks, hi, how's it going? <laughs> Causing trouble. It's my middle name. So one of the things I noticed when we're mixing epoxies and stuff like that, and this is kind of interesting, is um, when you're mixing. Uh, now you saw that when I poured it in, it was like super clear. Um, and then I start mixing and everybody starts flipping out because they see it's all milky looking. That's just normal. That's a chemical reaction. If you're using this particular epoxy, I have had it happen with others like Promarine or um, Amazing where it'll turn this weird milky color. But it's okay. Just keep mixing. Just keep on mixing. It's a little chilly in here uh, today. It's um, I'm up here in New England, and uh, we are in full-fledged fall. We had four inches of snow last week. Hello, everybody. Well, Lydia, welcome. I'm so glad you tuned in, and I'm so glad everybody else tuned in, too. Um, so we... This group is phenomenal. Everybody is so talented. And we're all here to help our you know, new people and old people too who are, just want to learn cool new stuff. And so there's loads of loads of loads of tutorials that happen. Um, Amy also has a special VIP group um, that's available. I don't know... I think it's like $20 a month or something where you get like way more tutorials to get way more cool stuff. Um, but in the main group here, um, you know, like we still do a whole bunch of tutorials and, um, if there's something that you want to learn about, make sure that you like put it up there because we're always looking for something new to show people or to help people with. Um, I seriously, like I did a plaid uh, one because everybody was having so much trouble with plaids. And then another gal whose name completely escapes me. I cannot, there were two more people that did their own version of doing like buffalo plaid or fancy plaids. So we had like choices, um, which is great. That's one of the best things about this group is, is, we do have choices in each one of us that's, you know, each artist, because we're all artists. Everybody has a way and they've tried different things that work for them. And sometimes they try things and it doesn't work for them. So we'll come on, we'll share, we'll help other people out. So if there's ever anything you want to know about um, Lydia or anybody else, ask. Um, also, as far as product line goes, Amy has like, thousands of products that she squirreled away at her place like she doesn't even have like all of the stuff on the website so if you're looking for a particular color glitter or a mold or something like that that you don't see don't like don't give up message and say hey i'm looking for blah blah because chances are someplace she's got it um or she can get it for us so that's one of the best things about this group and about Amy, because I can't say enough nice things about Amy. 
is, is that um, she really goes above and beyond to make sure that we have all the things that we need to have or that we want to have in order to do our art. So pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, so now uh, part two is, it th see how many bubbles are in here? Well, don't, don't worry about that because uh, I'm going to set it down. I'm going to let it sit for a couple of minutes and the majority of those bubbles are going to rise up because this particular epoxy does that. Um, it, it's, I'm a wicked aggressive stirrer. Uh, I don't know. I, I just don't have a gentle bone in my body when it comes to stirring. I'm just like, come on, let me get this thing mixed up. Um, and I end up with a bazillion bubbles. And then over time, actually, I should put it here so y'all can watch it. Um, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. I love watching this stuff. Um, needs to be taller. There. Okay, so you can see me and you can kind of see all the the bubblies and a lot of them will melt on their, you know, pop on their own. And then the ones that don't, you just uh, smack it with a heat gun and poof, they're done. So with this mold, I have, would say that with the first 180, what did I do? I did 220 milliliters of epoxy. And I've put it in both of the molds, but they're not full. Like they're, they're like way not full. Um, I do have, and I'm making sure that it's like all the way down when you do molds like this. I wish I was up a little higher. Um, when you do molds like this, you really have to make sure that you're getting like your stuff all the way into all of the nooks and crannies and crevices. And um, if you don't, then you're going to end up with holes or dense, weird spots that don't have enough resin in them. So what I find is, is that I do two pours. I give it time to move itself around. And then I'll come back in with a stick and I'll, I'll kind of poke down just to make sure that it's gotten all down there. It also gives it a chance to set up so that I know when I need to heat it, like hit it with my heat gun. All right. I am having a day here, guys. I'm so sorry. I have lost my box of gloves. I had a box of gloves and my gloves have gone missing. I just had them. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Well, good times. Good times. I can't believe it. I just had them. Aha. I found them because they fell down. She is awesome. She's totally awesome. Like, I, I, I've been in like so many other crack groups and they're just like, first of all, people are just plain out nasty in some of the other groups. And then here it's like, or you ask for something like you have a project coming up and you want a particular color glitter or a mold or whatever. And you know, if you're looking for it, if you want to have a particular glitter, let's say, you know, Hey, I need a, I need a silver chunky glitter. Well, you're not the only person that's probably going to need that that's in the group. Other people will want that. And they, they'll like have no interest in helping people. Where Amy, she like, yep, I'll get that. I'll get that. She'll get it for like one person and then put it up on the site. And of course, everybody else wants it too. So I just, I just love how she just goes way above and beyond to help everybody out and make sure that we have what we need to have in order to do what we do. All right. I can't keep my mess together. Are you kidding me? You should, you should see this room, Snooks. It's like a disaster. I keep trying to organize it. I need to like hire one of those professional organizer people who comes in and puts everything in its place and makes it all nicey nice because I'm not that person. 
I, I just, I am a disastrous crafter, I guess. My mother always called me a slob. She's like, you're a slob. It's kind of like, I'm an artist. Of course, I'm a slob. I work best in chaos. Um, so what I'm going to do, and guys, don't let me forget to add. Now, here, see my bubbles? Most of my bubbles have, like, they've gotten, like, really tiny. I've got little frothing and foaming going on up here. Um, in, like, 10 minutes, usually, I want to say, like, 95% of the bubbles rise up to the top. And then you just, I just whack it with the heat gun. Um, I'm going to start sooner than that, though, because I'll just heat it, um, heat it up, because I want to get this in. I don't know how quickly this is going to start to set up. I'm super curious about this mold though. It's, it's, and I also want to move it. So let me kind of get myself here. I'm going to try and do this without spilling it everywhere. Put it on another tray. I'm going to move it up here and hopefully you're all going to be able to see a little bit better. Because it's on a tray. Ah. I think I need... I got enough red. I don't need more red. I did not mix all the micas that I had planned to mix. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm actually going to need them. Or not. I want to make sure that I have some enough space for my um, I'm going to put like a little white into the glitter and then fill the rest of the mold up with it to make sure that it um, is nice and full and also wow that really made a mess um, so I'll fill it up and make sure and then I want to make sure that everything is pushed way down in it I wish I could reuse these cool cups because these are awesome but they don't clean out hi Shay how are you um we're making a holiday tray today it's like probably my second shortest tutorial ever um but that's okay all right so I'm gonna do this I'm trying to pour off some of this. Now nah, that cup is dead. Cup is done. All right. Good thing I have lots of little cups. All right. So I'm going to pour off some of this into this other cup. And ah! I need spouts on everything. Spouts would be awesome. I have a little tiny bit of the silver, which is this um, precious silver. It's so pretty in here. And I want to use a little tiny bit of this I love. This came... I don't know what, what box this was in. I know that this was not... Um, it, 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 it definitely came in a box. It's called Little Angel Wings. I absolutely love this. And I really hope that Amy puts this on the website. Because I adore it. It's um, like a white with a silver in it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And when I do um, the Oh Holy Night... Um, I, one, I am definitely using that in it. Okay. So we got, this looks really pretty. This, this is, this is going to be nice. I hope this is going to work. But like I said, we learn and what's the worst that happens. It looks lousy. <laughs> Part of being an artist. Never know. Never know what you're going to get. Okay. So what I did was. I wonder, let me try something. I 
probably drop you guys have uh, this is one of my biggest fears of moving the um the phone around while i have the resin because as as being who i am uh and being the klutz that i am i would be my luck that i would drop the thing right into my right into my whatever it was i'm working on does that help is that can you guys see better what I'm doing I just have it on a tray um, normally I put a silicone mat down on here um, and then uh, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna put a bunch of this in here to fill in any holes that I have the rest of it will be clear I'm just gonna put clear in but I want to make sure that this gets all the way down into the um, all of these crevices that are here. And it's super hard to tell. So it's something to keep in mind if you haven't done this mold or if you're planning on doing this mold. Um, make sure that you're getting like all the way down because of the recess that happens where it curves over. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell if you've actually gotten your resin all the way down. So a darker color might be good. Um, <gasps> I want pizza. <laughs> How are you doing, Jamie? You feeling, you feeling okay? With the little one coming? No, pregnant, being pregnant is so awesome. I only did it once. That was enough. That was enough for me. I had a 10 and a half pound baby who refused to let me sleep my last two months of pregnancy. So I was, I was kind of done at that point. I was like, and he's still at 40 years old now, because he's 40, he still doesn't let me sleep. He calls me in the middle of the night. Ma, what are you doing? But we love our children. I mean, we have to. All right. This takes a massive amount of epoxy. I am like blown away how much these molds take like wow this is still not full this this mold is still not full um now i i just did the silver part and i do still have about 120 mil over here but it's not full it's it's like not even near not even near full um this one it looks good it looks like it's full and it looks like it went down the sides okay so that's good to know so i have the rest now you saw i see all the bubbles like there's a few in there but they're little teeny teeny ones those are just gonna pop off when i heat it up but before i do that i want to move this a little bit I have one spot in this one that doesn't want to fill up. It's, um, it's almost like a, the glitter kind of dammed up on one spot and it doesn't want to like break beyond that. There we go. There you got it. I want to make like another one of these, I think. Only what I want to do is just, um, put some gold flake in the, around the edges. So I'll probably like take the thing, uh, flip it back and then I'll 
put the gold flake in around the edges. I think that'll look really amazing. I like that idea a lot. Okay, so this one's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, I think, I think it's not even my table. I have this, uh, I love this table. I bought it at, um, BJ's, um, it's, it's like a wholesale, uh, it's like a bulk place and, um, it's a great table. It's like, I don't know. It's like eight feet long. It was like cheap. It was like 60 bucks or something. And it's split in the middle and it folds and I've used it forever. The problem with it is, is that, um, it doesn't take weight well in the middle. And so over like two years time that the, the thing is starting to do one of these. So I'm going to have to go like to Home Depot or something and get like a big piece of plywood and put it on top. All right. I'm, I'm debating whether I want to just put clear in here. If I just, nah, I'm just going to do the clear. All right. So I'm just going to pour some more in here and see how full we get. Oh my gosh. Come on. You got to be kidding me. Are you serious? You know, if you did like, had bought like a little quart kit of resin, you would have used the whole thing on this, doing this. Like, so definitely if you're going to be buying resin uh, and you're planning on doing tray molds, uh, go big because these things take a ton of resin they're also they like to bubble up just underneath this lip so extra care is going to need to be given to uh right underneath the ridge of the molds if you can see where i'm kind of pointing here and i don't know if you can see it um so where it comes up right under there it you need to be careful because I'm noticing that there's a whole bunch of little bubbles that are forming and I'm just going to kind of pull this back. I want to make sure that it's gone all the way down into the bottom, which is actually kind of messing up my colors here. Kind of bummed out about that, but you know, Hey, like I said, I'm here to learn today on how to do this. And I still have to mix more resin because I'm not full. Now with this particular mold, you're supposed to fill it. If you can see the ridge here. So there's like a, the flat part and then there's this little ridge. You're supposed to fill it all the way to the top of that ridge. So yeah, this is, this takes a way lot of resin. So good to know. Good to know. The other one takes a ton too. So it, it's almost, I want to say because of the, the way this one shaped, it takes almost as much resin to do this one as it did the other, this, this flat one. Let me see if I can prop this guy up here. I ruined my, um, my geo poster mold by heating it, overheating it. I thought I was being smart and I just hit it very quickly with some heat and yeah, that, that was really not good. I did not do well with that and I ruined my mold. Um, little did I know, but we live and we learn, right? So these are, these are almost done. Um, I want to say you know, I mean, I'm, I'm getting there. It's pretty high in the mold right now. Um, it's come up to, I'm going to say like the bottom of this ridge right here. So I'm going to need, I'm going to probably make another hundred just to make sure. But I like, I do like pouring in layers because I can watch what's happening. I can let it sit for a couple of minutes 
and I can make sure that any bubbles that are going to happen are actually coming up and I, I'm going to be able to get those before, uh, you know, they set up too much and then you have a, like, like a ruined piece because when you have glitters, um, and, and I know a lot of you know, but there are some new, newer people here. When you're doing glitter, what happens is, is that the air bubbles will get trapped underneath your glitter and your epoxy. So when you pour it in, uh, once your glitter settles down to wherever it's going to go, any bubbles that are kind of trapped around that are going to start to come up. It can take probably up to like 10 minutes. For them to really get settled and start to come up so you want to allow that much work time for yourself uh I, that's why I'm, i don't i know something like this would never work with a fast set resin because you you'd be setting up before you actually got you know your bubbles to rise so as soon as uh, I mix this up, I'm going to actually hit it again with the heat because I can see my bubbles are coming up really well. I have another project to do after this, so I'm going to mix. Uh, like 140. mix 140 and if so then I can cover my cup I did a couple of different I, I just finished doing actually I'm gonna show you this because this came out so awesome that's my my cup this is my cup so excited so so excited about this cup I had actually, I didn't even know and um, about stained glass. I do stained glass and uh, I decided that I was going to do a stained glass cup. And then I realized it was a thing, which was really cool because I was like, hey, other people like it. Okay, so we got, oh boy, a little more than 70, 740. One thing about this time of year that makes it really tough is that light quality just goes away. It's like you lose the sun so early. It's sad. It makes me very sad. Okay, that's 100. 140. Okay. All right. So round three with the mixing of the resins. Yay. Thanks, Snux. Oh, it was so fun. I love doing stuff like that. That time, I don't know, the time consuming. It just really, um, with my back issue, I have like a lot of severe pain management. Um, it's, it's, it's just awful sometimes and to be able to sit down and do something like that it kind of puts my head in a different place and it's great because it, it helps me to zone out and uh it, it came out like way better than I thought that it was going to and I had actually took vinyl I cut the piece out uh from a stencil that I, you know like a thing and I laid it down and I thought, oh, well, I'm just going to leave the vinyl because I did it with black vinyl, leave it down, you know, and fill in around. And it didn't pop the way that I had hoped that it would. So I ended up uh, filling it in with glitter and I thought that it, it was cool, but I need a finer glitter, like the black glitter that I used. Who knew that they had all these different um grades of glitter and and thicknesses of glitter because i need something that's um finer to be able to do that part of it 
because I think the bigger stuff just doesn't work. I think it's medium. I think I got medium glitter. Not really. Like, I think the holly is, is like a fine. It looks fine to me. So I'm going to have to do more research. And then we have the, um, like the difference, I guess, for people to be able to see is, is like the holly is like really super fine. And then the precious silver is thicker. So I, I think that'd be like considered a medium. Holy cow, this is really bubbly. Why is it so bubbly? It's like 10,000 bubbles in this. I have to let them pop a little bit. Oh, I know. Okay. I want to say I know I made too much. But the way this has been going, I'm not so sure. Not so sure. All right, I'm going to let that try. I'm going to hit this with some more heat. Make sure I get all these bubbles. I'm not getting bubbles in the center. They're all around this edge. So again, if you haven't done one of these, it's a, it's a really good learning process. I really love the mold and I think it's really pretty. I think that it's, um, it's got a lot of potential for, you know, not just like a Christmas mold, but any, anything. So definitely a winner on the mold. The reason I did not drag the popsicle stick all the way to the bottom is because I did sort of want some definition of colors in there. And I'm glad I did that because I just pulled out a chunk that I overheated. Um, I didn't want, I want my colors to like be different, but I do have an air bubble in here and I'm trying to fill it in. So I just noticed it when I did that and I got another yucky spot. What the heck? Look at this guys. It's like this big guck. So I must've been from heating it up and I, I noticed it's all caught up on the side too. So It's good learning. Because then you can see how to take care of it. So you just scoop it out. Just like if you're getting like these big, ugly, gloppy spots of your epoxy that are, you know, caused from when you have to go around the, the edge to heat it up. And sometimes we do overheat it. I would not use a torch on here um, or an actual, uh, the other kind of heat gun because this is going to melt these mold, this mold. Um, I, I can't tell you how many molds I have ruined before I bought an embossing gun. Like I ruined so many molds just thinking, you know, like, and, and you watch the, like the videos, uh, of people doing it and they're just like, whoop, you know, with the heater, the heat gun. Um, you know, at this, if you can find 91 or 100 
you know, or use like Everclear 100 proof vodka doors. That's awesome. But around here, forget it. Like the best I can get is 80 and that's too much water. That's too much water to put on top of epoxy. Yeah, I wish this, I, I'm hoping, you know, spirits willing that this COVID thing is over soon because just trying to find some of this product that I need to have. And, and we all need it. Um, gloves, really, really hard to find. I cannot use, um, I can't use plastic and I can't use um, latex gloves, so I have to buy nitrile. Yeah, it's, it's a crapshoot when you're going shopping. I mean, some, like if I go in and a lot of times they'll have, um, like a, like a buying total, like you can only get one bottle, um, which is when I want to like call everybody I know and tell them to go to the store and get, you know, get me more. Okay. Why is that doing that now? Okay. So I have this. I have this filled, I think. I think it's filled. Hard to tell. I don't know. I know my tape, this, I know this is like upright. And I seem to be having like an issue. I don't know, guys. I'm just having issues today, I guess. Um, it's not going level. It, it doesn't want to. Like my table itself is, I think it's probably about on its last legs and I'm going to need to replace it because it thinks the warp in the middle of the table and then trying to compensate off with the, um, the sticks and everything like that. I, I don't have my little level handy, so I'm going to have to re-level my table before next week's video. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that looks pretty. It looks super pretty. I was going to try putting the, um, the little gingerbread thingies in there, but I did that on my last mold, and I think they kind of got lost in it. They they really didn't they didn't really pop the way that I wanted to, so I want to do like a gingerbread kind of. I think that'd be really cool, actually, do like a gingerbread um, house. A resin gingerbread house. Now, how cool would that be? Use all those neat little Hansel and Gretel uh, kind of enhancements that they have. Actually saw some really cute, super cute um, in beds uh, that were like, looked like little uh, pieces of candy. They were so cute. So I'm definitely going to have to pick up some of that. All right, so that's it. I think I think we got it, and I have a little tiny bit of resin left, although I'm not sure. It's like looking like it's still sinking down into the into the side here. I just want to make sure that it's going to be level when I or flat when I pull it out. Can't believe how unlevel my table is. Like I, I, I'm blown away how unlevel this table is. Wow! I have to keep propping it up to make sure that it's the resin's not gonna go funny. But I'm watching the the stuff shift. There we go. All right, final heat, and then I'll bring the camera around so you guys can see.
cool. That's too bad. I got like um, probably 50 milliliters of resin left over and I have no projects that I can put anything on. Like I can't put it on my cup because I, it's not fully sealed. But I can start another one afterwards. So I'm starting another little tray and uh, see, see if I got something I can mix up real quick. Because I just got some really cute molds from, ooh, I know. I got a, uh, it's not pink and purple monkey, but I got one of these guys. So I'm going to use up what I have and I'm just going to start a drizzle with that. Just to use it up. I hope Amy can get these because I think these would be really cool. Um, this is a little mini cutting board. So they're not super big. I don't know who even know who makes them. I don't even know where I got this from. I've had it for... It's made in China. That's all I know. Um, I've had it for a little bit. And um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. Because it was a little smaller than what I had wanted. Um for a cutting board. But. I don't know why they put that weird tabby thing on there. Considering it's not good for anything. Alright. So I'm just going to mix this up real fast and I'm going to do um, just sort of drizzle some color on here i'm gonna i'll finish it up later on but anyhow so that's um the thing the the tray mold i am going to show it to you i did try to do it in the same colors as the other one that i did and the reason was is because i wanted some new uh holiday decor for the house so I think that came out really awesome. So I am going to bring it all over here and I'm going to try and show you. Let me get rid of my thing here so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, did it funny. You guys can have to see my messy room. So there you go, guys, there it is. I will pop on real quick tomorrow and when I unmold them just so y'all can see how they look um I think they're they're gonna be gorgeous I'm like super excited about it I love you saw how little of the gold I actually used though and a gold believe it or not and, and I was I was very surprised because usually I would have figured that the green uh, and the red would have been predominant and would have took over the whole thing. And it doesn't. It's the gold just is like crazy. Um, super strong. Super, super strong. So <laughs> live and learn. All right. Well, I just happen to have a cup of silver glitter. So I'll pour it in here. And I'm going to start this, this one while I'm sitting here um, talking to y'all. So if there's any... Um, Nah, I, I usually, um, usually I would wash it, but I'm just for the sake of using this up before it, cause it's like, I don't know, it's like three ounces of epoxy. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to waste it. <laughs> so I'm just going to use it. If it doesn't turn out, that's okay. Um, we'll see what happens. But I do like to wash my molds. I actually got like a couple of these really awesome uh, Wheel of the Year molds. Um, 
from Amazon and I love them, but I'll tell you, they are a nightmare to try and paint. They're super detailed. I'll show you real quick. One of them. So they're circular and this one's like 10 inches. And they are awful. Like I cannot get the stuff. So what I ended up doing was using um, alcohol and mica and put it together and put it in. And then when I was done, I let it sit and it totally like uh, it was all messed up it, it totally like caked up when the alcohol dried so there was no way to regulate like how much mica you were actually putting in there and um so it just dried really funny and then i said oh well i'll just you know take it out well there's little words in there so you don't want the single color over all of the words and I was trying to variate it. Well, that was quite disastrous. So I'm going to try some other techniques. I could not get acrylic paints to stick to it. It just wouldn't stick to it. I tried. And it, it wouldn't. It just wouldn't. So I don't have no idea. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may end up hand painting it when it's done. That's a possibility. We'll see. I have no idea because I was super bummed out about it. Because the mica itself is just doesn't seem to color strong enough. And where the acrylic paint probably would have been amazing on it, um, it won't stick to that silicone. So I don't know that the silicone is different than normal silicone uh, or the silicone that I'm used to working with. For molds, I have no idea. It's not the pink. It's not like the, the pink or the blue ones. Uh, it isn't even like these tray molds that, that we've been working with. So I have no idea. I don't know how to fix it. So anyhow, guys, I hope uh, you all enjoyed that. And, um, that, you know, like I said, we learn by doing together, which is awesome. Cause I, I think it's nice too, to see that like, er, you know, people can have trouble or make mistakes or whatnot. Um, so we all learn together and that's what the group's all about. So if you have any questions, uh, message me. If there's something that you want to see me do message me. Um, I believe ne next week, I'm hoping next week is the nutcracker. Uh, tutorial which again I'm like mega pumped for super excited um, I have a whole bunch of winter and Christmas holiday ones coming up and um, there you go so guys all right have a great day thanks for watching bye